Mestre Imortal. Weight Division Bell. Was right. I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences. All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match? Tonight? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategies the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the very image of each other. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and we saw it right there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Real sneaky by the kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Left hand punch with the clinch. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. These guys throwing early. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult. Oh, nice to job to defend the result. takedown and scramble to his face. It's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Ooh, head kick lands hurt. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Forget the turnover on that kick. Back and forth we go! Wind it up on the right there to know about. Left hand punch from the clinch. kick offering there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Straight punch land. Trying the flying knee there. Battle for position here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, right left combo by Lee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really's got his opponent on notice here. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Big punch land. Ooh. That is 
how you scramble, folks. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but maybe to the surprise of his opponent, he has come out so aggressive here tonight, he has landed a ton of strikes here early and gotten off to a nice start. Nice kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and they separate. Nice punch there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And they separate. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Takedown defense holds up. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, and the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Right hand on point. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. That was good, man. Nice strike. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beats his leg up. All right, single collar tie now. Knees to the body. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Double leg. Stuffed. Boom. Try to establish that jab. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking shots. Leg attempt here. Nice job to catch the leg and work it into a takedown. And lands the left there. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's going to attack on bar here. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand-up, get to your knees, Post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. But get to your hand, stand up, fight the hand, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just misses with a left hook there. Ooh, big shot to the body. 
Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Head kick, that's a miss. Oh, that was bad. A nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Submission beautifully executed there on the ground. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career. And it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano is going to stop for this contest at 4 minutes, 45 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Assassin! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got 